good news. All letters in Spanish are always pronounced in the same way. So after this video, you will have the tools to master Spanish pronunciation. You probably know this, but just to avoid confusion, pronunciation is how each letter sounds and how you put them together when you speak. And the alphabet is the name of each letter. And we will cover that in section seven. Something I love about Spanish is that once you know how the letters are pronounced, it is really easy to know how to say something, even if you've never heard the word before. Some of the sounds we're going to cover may be quite new to you, so it's important to start practicing with them so that when you do speak, people will understand what you're saying and your efforts will be rewarded. So let's start with the vowels. A, it's always like A in cat. And the position or letter combination doesn't matter in Spanish. It's always A. For example, gato, casa, or agua. Again, gato, casa, agua. E is pronounced like the E in set. For example, we have España or restaurante. Again, España, restaurante. And then we've got I like E in police. For example, policía, piscina, vino. You can see that it doesn't matter where the letter really is in the word, it's always pronounced E. So, policía, piscina, vino. O is pronounced like the O in pot. For example, ocho, coche, hotel. Again, we've got ocho, coche, hotel. And finally, our last vowel is U, which is pronounced like U in boot. So we've got uno for number one. Uno or uvas. Now let's take a look at the consonants. Now most of them sound the same as the English, but there are a few differences which we'll cover here. So C, when it's before an A, an O or a U, it's pronounced like a K. So we have casa, coche, cuenta. Again, that's casa, coche, cuenta. Whereas if C is before E or I, it is pronounced like a th. So for example, cebolla or cine. Again, cebolla or cine. When G is before A, O or U, it's pronounced like the G in good. For example, gato, gorilla. Agua. Again, gato, gorilla, agua. However, when the G is before an E or an I, again, it's pronounced like H in loch. For example, gente or gimnasio. Again, gente. Gimnasio. Now the H is easy, it's always silent. Hola or helado. Again, we got hola or helado. And now we've got the J, which is again pronounced like j in loch. Por ejemplo, jardín o jamón. Otra vez, again. Jardín o jamón. Now, when you see two L's together, this is pronounced like the Y in yellow. For example, we have llave or silla. Llave or silla. This N with a squiggle is actually an extra letter that we have in the Spanish alphabet. And it's pronounced like ni, 
in onion, so niña y niño, o mañana, otra vez, niña y niño, mañana. The Q is normally followed by a U, E, or U, I, and it's pronounced like the K in kilo. For example, quiero queso, which means I want cheese. Quiero queso. Okay, so we come to letter R. This is an interesting letter because in general it's pronounced as normal, but at the beginning of the word or when it's a double R, you need to roll your tongue. For example, restaurante, guitarra, perro. Otra vez, restaurante, guitarra, perro. So the sound goes rrr. Yeah, this is one of the letters, well, this is the letter that I had to work on the most. Um, but don't worry, it does come. It's just a matter of training your mouth to be able to make slightly different sounds than what you're used to. Now the V is pronounced like the B in boat. So we have botella de vino or barco de vela. And you can see the examples used here. You can see there's no difference between the B and the V in pronunciation. So we have botella de vino, barco de vela, which is a sailing boat. And finally, we've got the Z pronounced like th in thick. Por ejemplo, zapato o manzana. Otra vez, zapato, manzana. Here are some tips to help with your pronunciation. Firstly, slow down. There's a temptation to try and speak fast when you're speaking Spanish because that's how it sounds to you when you hear it. But really, it's better that you're understood. So slow it down, take your time. Another tip is to write the Spanish pronunciation with your English system. For example, you see the word nueve for number nine, and then you could try to write it in a way that would sound correctly to you if you read it with your English system. Now, there's no right or wrong with this way. It's got to be something that makes sense to you. Okay, and separate and isolate the sounds to make it more manageable. For example, aeropuerto could be broken down as a, e, ro, pu, er, do. Aeropuerto. Ahora, tu turno. Now's your turn. Have a go at pronouncing these words. Coche. Apartamento. Piscina. Aeropuerto. Pino. Tomate. Playa. Are there any sounds particularly challenging? Find examples and write them in your cuaderno. Another idea could be to write these challenging sounds with the words containing them on post-it notes and place them around your house, say them out loud whenever you see them. What other ideas can you think of? Wow, now you've got the tools to be able to pronounce pretty much every single word in Spanish. <laughs> 